everyone, I'm Jenny from Art with Jenny K, and today's teaching video will show you exactly how you can connect art and poetry in your classroom. This is great for National Poetry Month, but could be used any time of the year. After hearing the poem, Bleezer's Ice Cream, your students will be creating a painting where they have different scoops of ice cream on top of a cone. They're going to be drawing, painting, and then naming the different scoops, hopefully using alliteration. Start by reading the poem to your students. And while you're reading it, you'll want to point out all the different alliterations in the poem. While I'm reading it, I like students to put their thumbs up if the name of the ice cream I read is an alliteration and put their thumbs down if they don't think it's one. By the end, your students will be smiling, giggling, and they'll certainly get the idea of what an alliteration is. They'll get to hear different ice cream names such as Peach Pimento Pizza Plum. The supplies you'll need for this project are crayons, permanent markers such as Sharpies, paper, watercolor paints, and paintbrushes. Let me demonstrate how I teach this. What you're going to want to do is start by doing the ice cream scoop at the very top. You'll do the top scoop and work your way down to the bottom. Now the way I teach a drawing activity like this, a directed drawing, is I say and do what I want my students to do and then they say it after me and do it with me. I don't give out any erasers at this particular point in the project and I ask students to follow along with me. Now, singing is a little embarrassing sometimes in your class and I'm certainly not good at singing, but I do it anyway because it works really good with my students. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you and yes, I'm gonna sing <laughs> how this works and how you can do this. So this would be something that you could show to your class if you like, and they could do it along with me. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is draw the top scoop. So I'm gonna go first, draw it and sing it, and then you're gonna draw and sing like this. Draw the top of your scoop. Draw the top of your scoop. Now draw the bottom. Okay, so you should have the first scoop drawn. Now at this point you're using a pencil. I'm using colors just so you can see it really well in this video. The next thing, let me go first. Draw two little lines. Now you go, draw two little lines and draw those two lines on the side. Now we'll add the bottom. Now we'll add the bottom. So let's do a third scoop. Draw two little lines. Now we'll add the scoops again. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here because your paper is probably pretty large and you probably have more room for scoops. So pause the video, finish drawing your scoops, and come back and we'll do the cone together. There's lots of shapes that you could use. For example, you can use a triangle to do a sugar cone. You can use um, rectangles and squares to draw a cake cone. So let me demonstrate how you could do a uh, sugar cone. So we'll draw a triangle. And you don't want to draw the top of the triangle because you want the ice cream to look like it's coming over top just a little bit. Okay, now let's draw that cake cone. So the first thing you're going to do is draw a really skinny rectangle at the top and then either a large square or a rectangle at the bottom. Now remember at this step you're just drawing the cone and the scoops. You're not putting in any details yet. Now. Let's take a look at some action shots of students doing this project from start to finish. Step one, draw the ice cream, starting from the top scoop, working your way all the way down until you get to the cone. Step two, outline each scoop and your cone with a permanent marker. It's important that you use a permanent marker so that these colors don't run when you paint later on. Step number three, add shapes with crayons. 
It's important that you don't color the ice cream at this stage. You're just adding little lines, little dots, little curly cues to create shapes on your ice cream. Step number four, paint with watercolors. This is a fun step, not only because it's fun to add paint to our paintings, but it's also nice because all of the areas that you've added crayons will resist the paint and show through. You'll get what we call a wax or crayon resist. Make sure when you're painting, start with yellow, work your way through the rainbow, and try to end with purple to keep your water clean. Now if you have time and resources, go ahead and paint the background. Choose a nice solid color that will showcase the beautiful ice cream cones that you've just created. When your painting is finished, go ahead and create different names for your scoops of ice cream. See how many alliterations you can come up with. When your paintings are dry, hang them up on a bulletin board and proudly display them in your school. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. And thank you for all you do with your students each and every day to bring art into your classroom.